It's cold. forever since I've sat and really just vlogged and I just feel like vlogging today because I'm watching a vlogger right now and I was like you know what I'm just gonna get my camera out and vlog because I kind of want to have a cutesy little day I actually just came back from one of my friends baby showers I'm so excited for Kat and her story is literally just incredible all that she's gone through with just trying for a baby and having a baby so it's such an honor to walk alongside her and see just this miracle like come to life it's so incredible so I just got back from that shower. Zach is at the gym. It's actually Saturday and he likes to go to the gym on Saturday, but I'm like, I want to go out and do something fun. Do you want to say hi? <gasps> I actually think I want to go to Trader Joe's and do some grocery shopping because in 2024 I am tired of the hectic Sunday resets like I kind of don't want that to be a thing anymore I think once he gets a little bit bigger I'll probably just like grocery shop during the week that way we don't have to use our weekends like meal prepping and grocery shopping but for right now we've been going like on Saturday Sunday mainly Sunday and it's just so chaotic like I want to have Sunday really just be our Sabbath so maybe Zach will want to go grocery shopping today I kind of want to go to Trader Joe's and then just go on a little date by the beach how's that sound right now I am actually planning out our groceries for the week and the way I do that is I literally just write out our meals for the week and then just write down the ingredients we have saved so much money being intentional on just writing out everything that we need trying not to throw a lot of stuff away and I'm also this year trying to read the ingredients on everything that I eat I feel like my stomach hurts all the time and I just need to figure figure it out because at this point I'm starting to just come to terms with it and I'm just tired of feeling like horrible all the time so I've been reading the ingredients on my food and it has made such a difference it sounds horrible but I just thought something like that would be a hard thing to practice but it's literally so easy I just buy things with ingredients that I can actually pronounce so yeah I've been feeling so good I've replaced so much and still waiting to find like a really good oat milk because I can't have dairy because of Theo I'm breastfeeding and I'm allergic to almonds so it's like the oat milk that I've been drinking is horrible. It's just loaded with a bunch of stuff. So I'm just trying to slowly replace a lot of things. But come here, big boy. Theo will be six months in, what's today? <gasps> Four days. In four days, he's gonna be six months old and I just cannot believe it. So I think we're gonna do something special for you. Do you wanna have a half birthday celebration? I think it'd be so sweet to do something special for the half birthday, but Zach is like, he doesn't really care about half birthdays, so. <gasps> He has grown so much. Like just seeing him do things like this is so special and sweet. dishes out because they're disgusting and I hate looking at them and then I think we're gonna go to Trader Joe's after I get groceries for the week so let's knock these dishes out because who wants to come into a dirty kitchen nobody Okay, but my life is kind of like ruined by the fact that it gets so dark so fast. Like it's only five o'clock. The sun is going down. the 
beach. It's really cold, but I just figured it'd be nice to see the ocean. It's cold. <laughs> Let's go to the grocery store now because my fingers are freezing. Theo is cold. You like the front seat? You ready to drive? Ready? <gasps> Woo! Woo! Look! Ready? Oh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> It just. Oh, he wants. No, my hands are dirty. Get it, Theo. Okay, we're home. All right, we have some groceries here. Also got some flowers. It's a doll. We made breakfast this morning, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this latte machine that we're obsessed with. We're trying so, to is practice. Is it the machine or the actual the lot the I don't liquid know, it, gold itself? It definitely I keeps so. me from going to a coffee shop because it's like a whole thing. Wait, do you really turn yours that far? <gasps> That's probably why mine splashes. Frothy. No, it's not too frothy. It might have been too early in the pour. Maybe it was a little bit too much milk. Well, guys, if you ever mess up your art, just get a little skewer and just kind of like create some sort of design. You want me to do it? I have mad skills with that. No, I'm just gonna make it look. I could have made that a heart 100%. Mm. What's wrong with it? It's too milky, I put too much milk. We need to get ready for church. We're gonna be very late. Are you gonna get him dressed? Are you shaving out there? I think I'm gonna wear this pink sweater. I don't know if you can tell. I'm wearing my hair up. I think I'm gonna wear it down. Okay, so this hairstyle is honestly the best because you basically just blow dry your hair and instead of going straight to a flat iron, you go straight to a wand and it gives you like these big voluminous curls and I just love them. Like I feel like this is the look that will like stop somebody in their tracks and they're like, whoa, you know, like you look so good. It's really, I had no idea, you know, like <laughs> it's just one of those looks that never fail me. So if you're looking for just something a little versatile for your hair, blow dry and wand it. I'm telling you, it never fails, never fails. Fails. I mean, you want that look that has people stopping in the grocery store, guys, staring at you like you're some sort of celebrity goddess. I'm, I'm kidding. So I'm editing right now, but when I went grocery shopping, this man stopped me in my tracks, y'all. Stopped me in my tracks and was like, I'm sorry, but can I just say, whoa, you have a gorgeous face. Like, that's literally what he said. I stopped him in his tracks. He asked me if I was a model. And on the way out, he's like, don't go breaking any hearts. <laughs> it was a little creepy. But the proof is in the pudding, y'all. Do the hairstyle. It works. This is the finished look. I feel like it's like really overexposed, but it's like this baby pink sweater. It's actually really cute. I got it on Amazon, which I need to stop shopping there because I need to support some more local places, I guess. I don't know, it's just what my dad tells me. And then I'm wearing jeans, but I wish I had like a brown Ugg platform boot. Like I feel like that would look really good with this, but I only have black boots. So maybe it'll be like a pop of contrast. But I used to have Uggs and I like donated them like a dummy. I think I like sold them on Depop. What's going on here? Oh my goodness, hello. You look so handsome. Kind of matching with daddy with the shoes. Let's say hi. I stand by you. So we are literally back home. 
very quickly because Theo was really tired. He was like grunting, spitting, <laughs> like those are the signs of him just being very tired. So we came home early, went right to sleep, which is good, but I think I'm gonna run to Walmart and get him some things because it was so cold today um, and all we had for him was a hoodie. So we're gonna go and get him a coat, some wipes, and then I'm gonna run to Aldi and get the last of our groceries. I know I said I wanted to avoid like a reset on Sunday, but we went to Trader Joe's last night. So we got like a big bulk of the groceries. We just get our meats from Aldi because it's way cheaper. So let's go to Walmart, get the old man a coat and then get the rest of our groceries. And then I'm staying home. It's first of all, way too cold to be out. But then second of all, I really want Sundays to be just like a Sabbath, very relaxing, just resting day. So we are going to try to figure that out this year because it's just too much to be running around from store to store on Sunday and then your weekend is pretty much gone. So let's go to Walmart. Okay, so I'm trying to find a coat for Theo. This is so adorable, but I don't see any coats. They have these little sets, but I'm trying to find like a puffer jacket, like something that's actually not like a sweatshirt. So I have like rain jackets. And then there's this coat, but it's a 2T. So I'm trying to find baby food that I was recommended called Serenity Kids, but I don't see it. It says it's in stock, but I don't see it anywhere. So. This is what it looks like, but I don't see it on the shelf. Okay, just kidding. It's just all gone. Okay, well we do need more diaper hail refills. So I think I'm gonna get this. Looks like a pack of three. Or actually, I might just get one and then order the ones we normally get online. And then we also need wipes. These are the ones we use, so I'm just gonna get these. They didn't have any coats at Walmart, which is very disappointing. I don't know if they're just sold out. There is an Old Navy up here. I think I'm gonna run in there and see if they have anything for babies. There's also like a Ross in Burlington, but I just really don't wanna be out like shopping at a bunch of stores like I really just want to be home with my family so let's just see if they have something in Old Navy and if they don't then we're just gonna go to Aldi and then we're gonna go home so I'm heartbroken because they only have these in zero to three but this would have been so perfect I just know that that will not fit him it's zero to three months and it's on clearance for like ten dollars they have this I feel like it's really nice and it's really thick but it's only a 12 to 18 oh I might get this one do you want to see the coat that I got? Oh crap. Huh? <laughs> it might be too big. What do you think, Theo? Is it too big? Yeah, it's literally a 12 to 18, but they only had zero to threes and those look way too small. I also got him this shirt that was on clearance for $8. Look, <sighs> nice and toasty. That's a good one, yeah. So these are the clothing finds. I think they're really cute. And then we just got all these groceries from Aldi. Got him some wipes. I also found this like thing where you can put bananas or strawberries in and they suck on it. You can put like a banana or strawberry in here and they suck it out. Just to introduce solids and me not be absolutely terrified. So right now I'm just doing some research on starting solids because I'm honestly just like super overwhelmed on where to even start. There's this website called Starting Solids, but I didn't realize that it cost like a hundred dollars to get a bundle of everything. And I'm just like, I know that, Theo man, I know that companies, here, you want this? I understand that companies have the business model and they're trying to make money. Also, it just got so bright, I'm so sorry. But I'm like, I'm just a mom that's trying to figure it out and I have no idea where to even start. And I'm just not paying $100 for a course. Like that is so much. So I found this video, it says, <laughs> <laughs> to start with a vegetable, try one food at a time for three to five days. Give one hour after eating milk. Use the app Solid Start. Bibs, little spoons, no honey. Good to know. I did buy yams, so maybe we can like puree some. Whoa, I'm kind of dreading this. <laughs> Let's put this together. Hopefully I don't need my husband's help. <laughs> Sometimes life can be tough 